Hey, this is Sarge here at C4 Defense, and today I'm going to show you the Cosent Arms Coast 21 double stack short barrel 9mm concealed carry option made by Cosent Arms right here in Flat Rock, North Carolina. Let's go ahead and put a few on steel. Now those of you familiar with the channel are familiar with Cosin Arms. They're made over in Flat Rock, North Carolina. They started off with the Cosin 11, and you, you, I've got a video right here. I've got the interview of like the background of Cosin Arms, plus I've got a couple reviews and a comparison of the Cosin 11. I'll post those right there for you to check out once we're done with this video, of course, stay to the end. Um, this is their new double stack. This is a higher capacity. We'll, we'll get into the specifics of it here in just a second. It, Shoots pretty good so far from what I can tell, but let's go ahead and take a closer look. And then after that, we'll put some more on steel and kind of put it through its paces and see what it can do. So let's check it out. The Coast 21 is chambered in nine millimeter. It has a 17 plus one capacity with this MBX Defender magazine. The upper is stainless and it's Cerakoted. You can get it Cerakoted in, a, in a multiple different choices. So you pick that out whenever you get it. This one, the lower is aluminum and the grip is polymer. It has a 3.5 inch barrel on this model. The overall length, 7.25. Sight radius is right around five inches. The overall height, 5.375. And the width, including the ambi safeties, about an inch and three eighths, somewhere around there. The magazine, super easy to get to. Like I said, it, it uh, holds that MBX 17 round mag, no issue to get it in and out. The sights in the back, these are blacked out in the rear. Front is fiber optic on this model, but that's one of the other things you get to choose whenever you pick one of these out. And the trigger pull on this model, it's advertised at 3.5 pounds, but we're gonna check that here in just one second. And this model comes with the optional fast safety. So I already had it engaged. So whenever you cock it, you have to push this one forward and then you use the safety to release it. Just like a manual safety, other than pushing it forward, you use the safety when you're ready to go. So anyone that complains about this, this is an option. It comes standard with the manual safety. So you don't have to get this. Um, the grip is stippled. It's a uh, super grippy. This is a full size grip as well. So it's a, uh, it's easy to get a hold of. Like I said, 17 plus one rounds. That's a lot of nine millimeter and the weight unloaded. This thing weighs 29.7 ounces with the magazine. When I loaded it up with 17 plus one rounds of 124 grain, it came out to 37.6 ounces. And then as we would carry it with the TLR 7A on this little subcompact frame, uh, subcompact slide, full size grip, we're gonna, it comes in at 40 ounces on the dot. So let's go ahead and check that trigger pull before we put some on steel. Now let's get out the handy Wheeler, uh, Wheeler engineering trigger pull measuring device. So, just to make sure, let's take the magazine out of it. We're going to, I already cleared it, but we're just gonna clear it again. So it is ready to go and here we go. Let's see if we can see this. I'll hold down the grip safety and I failed on that one. So here we go. Cocked. Two pounds, two ounces. One pound, 11 ounces. 
This one must be broke in. Make sure this is correct. Two pounds, four ounces. Two pounds, five ounces. I'm not exactly familiar with how to use this thing. I just got it not too long ago. So let's be a little more precision. Two pounds, 10 ounces. I might've pulled a little far. And two pounds, three ounces. So right around two and a half pounds. This thing was definitely broke in. So let's go ahead and put that up and let's put some on steel. All right, let's go ahead and throw in our Tracker Blue Axle Ear Pro. I've got a link for those in the description. I'm also testing out a Core Essentials uh, battle belt, range belt. And so far I really like it. I'll have more of that on my live blog at c4defense.com, but we'll get into that later. So let's go ahead and we're gonna put some on steel. Uh, we'll run through the, the little targets and then we'll put some on the stationary targets and maybe we'll shoot a little bit faster. Maybe we'll shoot a little bit more precision, but let's go ahead and see how this thing functions. Like I said, we'll run it without a light and then we'll put a light on it here in just a second. Now this Cosin Arms double stack 1911 is so smooth. It just eats up the recoil. The polymer two piece lower is just state of the art and it really does work. See if we can get the head. Now I'm noticing this test gun shoots just a little bit to the left. And I'm gonna take a closer look here in just a minute. Now, the last round stayed in this magazine, and I th think I figure out what it is, and I'll go into it just a little bit further here in just a minute go ahead. as I go through the other magazines. Let's put a few more on steel and see how this thing runs. As you can tell, it just does not move much. It eats up the recoil, and I know I keep saying that, but this gun is so smooth. I've only shot a few high-end 1911s, and the difference between this and, you know, more of the everyday duty-type weapons is night and day. I think that last round was... Uh... That was kind of me expecting it to be on the last round and it actually wasn't so that could be a user error but let's go ahead and throw the light on it and we'll we'll shoot a few more all right now for some accuracy let's see if we can hit the head of that target well i'm hitting the head but i'm hitting them all to the left side at least it's grouping nice and here you're going to see what I figured out the problem is. All right. Now I'm going to show you guys. It looks like, because this is a test gun, it looks like someone's moved these sights over just a little bit. They truly need to be drifted back over. That's why it's shooting a little bit left. It's not the gun. It's whoever tested this gun before me drifted them over to the side. So it's truly going to shoot just a little bit left. But... It's easily fixed in about two seconds, but I just found out about it. So let's go ahead. Like I said, safety's on. Let's draw and fire the last 10 rounds onto the static target in more of a self-defense scenario. So we'll see how it goes. Well, well, why did that hang up? Is it me? Am I hitting something? I kind of think my thumb's on the slide. Let's, uh, let's run one more through that and let's see if it's me. Cause I, I kind of think I'm dragging my thumb. All right, I got uh, 17 more rounds of nine millimeter. Let's, uh, let's, see. let's see if it's me or if it's the gun. I kind of think I'm dragging my thumb. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna put all 17 of these on the on the static target and and see how it goes so 
Here we go. Yeah, pretty sure that was me. That was me dragging it, so. All right. The Coset Arms Coast 21 double stack, nine millimeter. Nice short barrel, easy concealment, holds a light, uh, holds more than enough rounds to do what you need it to do. So, like I said, go ahead and check them out. Coast and Arms, see you on the range.